Now to a CBS 2 investigators exclusive nearly one month after the death of the prime suspect in the 1982 Tylenol murders. We are hearing from him in his own words. Hours of interviews with the FBI just obtained by the CBS 2 investigators. Our Dave Savini is here with us now and Dave this is the first time that we are hearing Lewis talk at length about these poisonings since he talked behind bars more than 30 years ago. Exactly. They are definitely shocking videos. They are the videos we obtained more than two hours long and they're just part of the evidence investigators collected over the past 40 years, hoping to charge Lewis with the murders of seven people. But they never did, and the only time he served was for trying to extort Johnson & Johnson, the makers of Tylenol. You hired when you wrote the letter. And I think it was more on the line of isolation. Uh, man had been gone work uh, three days in a row, and I was by myself. And uh, we had all this stuff going on with the title and all stuff, and I was uh, with the, it was on the news, and uh, at the same time I had the, this isolation in New York where we were trying to get reestablished again. Just didn't realize that uh, writing those letters and doing that would uh, incur such wrath. Get people so excited. Now, we will dive much deeper into this interview tonight at 10. Plus, you'll see how he speculates that someone as young as a teenager could have pulled off the poisonings. So, much more tonight. All right, All right. we'll see you then. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave.